Let's talk about page 309 quickly. This is Wednesday's grammar. Um, it's using consistent verb tenses, which means that we want to make sure that both verbs in our, um, I'm going to see if I can get some more light here. That might help. Um, we want to make sure that both verbs in the sentences have the same tense. Remember, we've got past tense, we've got present tense, we've got future tense, and we want to make sure that all the verbs in our sentences match up together. Okay? Um, so let's just go, we're just going to skip to number one. I think that was a good enough um, introduction. So in the sentences, we've got one through six, right? It says rewrite each sentence so that the verbs are in the same tense as the underlined verb phrase. So the underlined phrase is correct, okay? That one we're leaving. And we're going to use that to find another verb in the sentence that's not correct. And we're going to rewrite it so that the whole thing makes sense. So right now, let's read number one. A deer had grazed in the park before a no noisy dog chased it away. Do you hear something that doesn't sound right? Me too. A deer had grazed, okay, so that means that was in the past, in the park before a noisy dog chased it away. <gasps> chase? That's present tense. If, you're ch if we are going to chase someone, we're ch well, we could say going to, that would be the future. But the actual word chase means it's happening right now. But the underlying part said had grazed, and that's in the past. So we need to cha change the word chase to past tense chased, right? So we are going to rewrite the sentence. Do I need to write the whole sentence, Mrs. Norman? Yes, you can do it. Don't be lazy. We got to do this. A deer had grazed in the park before a noisy dog chased with an ed right chased it away there we go and I made sure that I changed uh, the tense of that other verb okay one more together one more if you need to pause so that you can finish writing that one, go ahead. I'm going to keep going. Heavy rain had fallen a few days earlier and floods the streets. That doesn't sound right. The underlying part that's correct says heavy rain had fallen. Had fallen. Had tells me it was in the past. But the next part of the sentence says a few days earlier and floods the streets. Floods is telling me that it's happening right now in the present. Those two do not match up. We've got to fix this. Now remember the part that's underlined is correct, so we have to change the other part. So we had had fallen. We need to change the other verb, which is floods, to match had fallen, which is in the past. So we've got to change floods to the past. Flooded flooded. You're right. So heavy rain had fallen a few days earlier and flooded the streets. You got it? So you're going to write that on the line. Then you just have a few more to do on your own. Remember the underlined part is correct. You've got to fix the other part of the sentence that doesn't jive. It's not the same. We need to be consistent with our verb tenses. Good luck.